going to run a little test, mainly for my own curiosity, but figured I would film it in case anybody is curious as well. going to see how long I can run my freezer and refrigerator in my 16BH camper on a single bottle of propane. I've had this thing running on electric power for the last couple of days. So everything is already up to temperature. Everything in the freezer, as you can see, is already frozen. This fridge works on both electric and propane. So I will be switching it off of electric altogether. So it's running 100% on propane. So by no means will this be a scientific study. This is just a curiosity project for myself. There's a ton of factors that are going to influence how long that bottle of propane lasts. Um, the size of the refrigerator, how often you open and close the doors, the temperature outside, the temperature inside the camper. Um, if you're doing anything else with propane, like a water heater or a furnace, any of that kind of stuff, even the amount of food in the refrigerator or the freezer can have an impact on how long the bottle of propane lasts. I'm sure somebody is going to want to know what model refrigerator this is. Uh, it's a Dometic, and when I look inside, this is the control panel I have. So it's either the DM2672 or DM2872. Can't say for sure which one. When I look inside here, it's one of these two, six cubic foot. So it's a six cubic foot refrigerator. Um, that's probably the number that matters the most for those that are curious. Starting off with a standard 20 pound or five gallon propane tank. I just had it filled to the max, so it's ready to go. And just to make sure I'm pulling from the full tank, which is this one here, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the diverter to the right. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and switch it from auto to gas. Not sure if you could hear that, but it did ignite and it is now running on gas. It's about uh, seven o'clock on Friday. Gonna let it run for a few days and uh, just basically let it run till it runs out of gas and starts beeping. It makes a very obvious sound when the gas is gone. There's a chance that'll happen while I'm sleeping overnight or when I'm not home, who knows? I'll do the best I can to estimate how many days or how many hours it'll last. And for what it's worth, it's 79 degrees inside the camper right now. I'm not gonna be running the air conditioning Outside, it's going to be in the mid 80s for the next few days, so it'll probably be right around 80 degrees inside here as well. It's Monday, about 7 o'clock, been about 72 hours uh, running the fridge. If you ever wanted to check and see how much propane is in your tank and you don't have a gauge like me, take a cup of very hot water and pour it over top of the tank. Right along down the side. Let it sit for a second, and then you can get a feel with your hand where it starts to turn cold, which is right here for me. It's hot here, it's cold here. That's basically where your level is at. So I use about a third of it so far. If I've gone three days, I might be able to get nine or 10 days out of this tank. So we'll see. It's Friday again, so I've been a uh, full seven days since I started this little experiment. You can see it's definitely gotten hotter, well into the 90s, 96 degrees inside the camper today. We're well into the 11th day on this experiment. Just poured some more hot water. Tank is hot here. Hot, 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 hot. It gets cool right in this spot. So that's where we're at. And I think this method of measuring the propane in the tank is gonna be less accurate the closer you get to the bottom. Maybe because there's more metal to absorb the heat. I don't know what it is, but we are right about here. So I think I got a couple more days left in this thing. I might get two weeks out of uh, one tank. That's pretty cool. If so, we'll find out. There's that beep. Today is uh, the next, next Saturday, the 15th day. Sometime overnight, I ran out of propane. So a solid 14 days on one tank, I think that's pretty darn good. Shut that off for a second. Yeah, two solid weeks on one tank. I think that's good. Um, like I said, this was not a scientific test by any stretch of the imagination. 
just the way to kind of gauge what I can get out of a tank when I'm boondocking. Uh, I've always been kind of hesitant to run the fridge more than necessary. Like I would even turn it off for a couple hours and turn it back on again. Don't think I need to worry about any of that. So there you have it. I don't know if this is interesting or helpful to anybody else. It's probably something everybody watching this video already knows, but uh, for me, it was something to test and I figured I'd film it while I'm testing it. And that's the end. Thanks for watching.